हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक फ्रॉम इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर इंजीनियर्स द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस द टॉपिक इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर द एनालिसिस अबाउट द प्रॉफिट्स एंड द सेलिंग सेल्स वॉल्यूम्स एंड द सेल्स प्राइस एंड ऑल सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज टर्म्स दैट इज सेल्स वेरिएबल कॉस्ट फिक्स कॉस्ट इन प्रॉफिट सेल्स मीन्स विच वी सेल आर प्रोडक्ट और वी कैन से द वॉल्यूम वी जनरेट फ्रॉम आर सेल्स दैट इज सेल्स वेरिएबल कॉस्ट द कॉस्ट विच इज़ वेरी विद द प्रोडक्शन और द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन फिक्स कॉस्ट मीन्स द कॉस्ट विच इज़ फिक्स फॉर एवरी लेवल ऑफ प्रोडक्शन दैट डिज इन वेरी एंड प्रॉफिट इज वॉट वी अर्न आफ्टर लेस द वेरिएबल एंड फिक्स कॉस्ट फ्रॉम द सेल्स वॉल्यूम सो द स्ट्रक्चर फॉर दिस इज sales less variable cost gives us contribution and less fixed cost is the profit so for the break even analysis there are four formulas which i have mentioned here the first is pv ratio that means profit volume ratio the volume of profit on sales this um, formula shows us the volume of the profit on the sales the formula for pv ratio is contribution upon sales that means s minus v upon sales just because sales minus variable cost is equals to contribution so we can put here sales minus variable cost upon sales into 100 contribution upon sales into 100 both the things are same second formula in the break even analysis is for break even point break even point is a selling point where we are in the situation of no profit no loss we are on a same page pro, um, with the our variable and fixed cost so vp point is a point where we can know that we have to sell more than that point so we can earn profit the formula for uh, bp uh, is fixed cost upon pv ratio already i have discussed what is pv ratio so what is the fixed cost is divided by pv ratio gives us the bp point now margin of safety margin of safety means above bp point what we are uh, gaining or as a income is called margin of safety that means in that particular margin we uh, cannot be in the position of loss so we have to measure that margin of safety profit for margin of safety is profit upon pv ratio that means the ultimate terms which we give by this structure is the profit divided by pv ratio gives us the margin of safety now what is the formula for profit as uh, see uh, i have written there sales minus fixed cost plus pe, uh, variable cost gives us the profit now further i can explain these terms and formulas with the example in this example i will explain the all these formulas in the information we have the amount of sales amount of fixed cost and variable cost and we have to find out the contribution profit bp and ms by uh, these analysis we can help to the organization to the measure the volume of the profits and all so first of all we will calculate the contribution formula for contribution is sales minus variable cost so C equals to sales is one lakh twenty thousand rupees minus forty five thousand. So contribution will be seventy five thousand. Now profit formula for profit is sales minus variable cost plus fixed cost so if we can see sales minus variable cost is also contribution so we can calculate profit by contribution minus fixed cost value for uh, fixed cost is 25000 so profit will be Fifty thousand rupees. Now, BP formula for break-even point is C 
fixed cost upon PV ratio. So first of all, we have to calculate the PV ratio. Formula for PV ratio is contribution upon sales into hundred. Contribution is rupees seventy five thousand. Sales is rupees one lakh twenty thousand. Multiply by hundred, so it will be near about sixty two point five zero percent. Now we will calculate the BP. That is fixed cost is rupees twenty five thousand divided by PV ratio means sixty two point five zero. Multiply by hundred just because the sign of percent is. So BP will be something about forty thousand rupees. We can see the break-even point is rupees forty thousand. That means if we uh, sell nearby amount of forty thousand, that means we are in the position of no profit, no sales. So we have to make the sales increase by forty thousand to earn profits. Now the final one is margin of safety. Formula for margin of safety is profit upon PV ratio. We have calculated the profit fifty thousand rupees divided by sixty two point five zero multiplied by hundred. So margin of safety will be amount eighty thousand rupees. these are uh, very simple formulas to calculate and the analysis the profit volume fixed cost variable cost selling price and all this is all about the break even analysis this is very short topic in uh, your syllabus another topic related to uh, economics for engineers and uh, profit analysis is elements of cost first of all we have to know what is cost cost is the amount which we invest or which we pay for uh, getting something or produce some product so there are some steps of uh, cost and all these i want to explain these elements basically in cost there are three elements included first is material second is labor and third one is expenses so step by step i am explaining you what is prime cost factory cost and all these elements of cost number 1 if we add direct material direct labor and direct expenses so that will be our prime cost will be our prime cost in the prime cost if we add our factory expenses or factory overhead that will become our factory cost that is the second step of cost element in the prime cost if we add the factory overheads that will become our factory cost now factory cost plus office or administrative expenses becomes our cost of production cost of production means the level of cost where we have added the prime cost factory cost and in the factory cost office and administrative expenses further cost of production plus opening stock opening stock means the stock on the first day of our financial year that is 1st april 
opening stock of finished goods less closing stock of finished goods results cost of goods sold this is the very important uh, elements and the very important step in the cost of element just because this cost included all the major cost and this tell tell us the particular cost for our product now further after calculation of cost of goods sold if we add selling and distribution expenses in the cost of goods sold that become our cost of sale that means the ultimate cost where we have already sold our product now we are on the situation when we sell our product and what our overall cost included in our uh, production and sale now further we can calculate the sales that means cost of sale plus profit equals to sales that means this is our total cost if we add profit in the total cost that becomes our sales now if we want to calculate per unit selling price so we will sales divided by quantity of sale that will become our selling price per unit this is the basic model for the elements of cost now i have uh, used some terms here that is direct and indirect expenses so i want to explain verbally these terms direct expense means the expenses which we have made to uh, produce the product or we can say directly uh, expense directly made in the factory level or production level after that production of the product uh, some cost already included or we can say the overhead already included the other part other than production cost occurs that uh, called indirect expenses so direct material direct labor and direct expenses uh, equals to prime cost and if we add indirect material indirect uh, labor and indirect expenses so that will our uh, total overhead that is the basic module of the elements of cost now further we will discuss another topic related to these cost elements thank you